One of the foundations or basics of calisthenics exercises or bodyweight strength is the L-sit. So today I'm gonna to take you through how to train it and make it stronger. And not just the strength aspect of it, but the flexibility and the compression. Now, most people think of the L-sit as this position, this L-shape, but most people actually need to first start training their hair. Even if they have the strength to hold it there, they often don't have the flexibility to do it. So they're making it really hard for themselves by trying to achieve it in an upright position like that. So first of all, we just need to test our flexibility. Can you sit in an upright position like this? Can you get your back so you have not a lumbar curve, or maybe a little bit of a lumbar curve, I can just get hold of some skin on my low back there, just. So if I'm rounded, now I can't pinch any skin. So a lot of people are gonna sit like this because their hamstrings are too tight for them to sit in this position. There is partly some work to be done in the upper back as well in that thoracic, but hamstrings is the number one thing to first look at to see whether you can sit in that position. Also jump up, try the same thing standing. So in this position, I can again, I could pinch skin, see if I can get to 90 degrees, or you could just look at yourself in the mirror, see whether you're in that position where you can get a flat low back, or even just have a little bit of a lumbar curve and see if you can get 90 degrees. If you can't, we need to bend the knees slightly when we work the L-sit. And then while we're working on the strength of the L-sit, we also wanna be working on our hamstring flexibility. So do this test, have the hips above the knee, lock out this leg, see if you can get your fingertips to the floor. Palms to the floor, walk the hands forwards. Uh, when I'm warmed up, I can get head to toe. Now I never used to be like that. I used to be like this used to be my flexibility. So when I wanted to get press handstand, I've done lots of work now on my hamstrings, so it's easy for me to press up in the air because I've gone past that range of motion needed to do the work without using loads and loads of plant strength. So that unlocks things for me like the L set. So for your strength sets, let's work up per set to get 30 seconds time under tension. You could either do one set of 30 seconds or three sets of 10 second holds, whichever you can manage. I'd mix it up as well with different variations. But what I would work on is have your knee higher than your hip crease. So see there, the knee is higher than the hip crease. So this being my hip crease, this being the knee, knee being slightly higher, arms locked out, chest open in that position. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test, see how much I can straighten the legs, hold for the time without the knee dropping below the hip crease. What will happen with most people is as they straighten, their leg comes down like this. So we wanna have that knee crease or that knee higher than the hip crease. So just find the point that you can open to. So it might be like that. Hold your time there. Now I'd also work some compression drills to make it easier for the hip flexors to activate in that position. Now it's not nice because our rec femme crosses the knee and the hip, it closes there, it extends there. It gets angry when you try and lift up. Your hip flexors get all crampy. Punching them can help. But what we need to do is, is work that. Now it's gonna be horrible. Uh, start with doing this test. So have your palms on the floor with your thumbs in line with your knees. So you're there. See if you can lift your feet off the floor. If you can't, go up to fingertips in that same position, come back down again, even if you can get a tiny lift. And all we're gonna do there is pulses in that position. So thumbs in line with the knees, and I'm just gonna do 50 pulses. Now 50 sounds a lot, but I'd even work up to like 150 or 200 because it's fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And I go all the way up to 50 like that. And I would do three sets of that per session. And that's just gonna make you more comfortable in that l suit position. Now I never do enough of these, I should definitely do more, but it will definitely work with the flexibility work to make you more comfortable in that l set, make it more efficient, more efficient, efficient, so you can hold for longer. Another cool way of working it is to put a deficit in. So basically move the floor up or down to make it harder or easier to hold the position. So I can do this on the floor. So. I can take my heels up. Now what I could do to make that slightly harder is I could elevate the floor. So I could put my shoe underneath my heel so it's in the way, so I'm there. Now I have to use that compression to try and keep the feet up while I'm holding the actual L-sit. Now this setup isn't great, but you could do the same thing even if you've got your knees bent. So I'm gonna have something underneath my feet that's gonna restrict me and I'm gonna change the height. Ideally, it would be a little bit higher than this or the bars would be slightly lower. So that's restricting me. You can play with dynamically going through the range so I can be in my support position here and I'm just gonna lift up to L sit and back down again. So trying to keep the torso still. I could do the same thing hanging on a bar. So I could go up to my L sit position, back down again, trying to keep the hip open, trying not to swing backwards. Obviously you could continue that to toes the bar. If you are going up to toes the bar, try to aim for the toes to touch the bar, not the shin. 
the shin demands less flexibility and uses more strength. So pass through the L-sit position, try and get that toes to touch the bar, bar, touch the bar, yeah, can't talk. So try and get the toes to touch the bar without taking your shoulders too far backwards. Obviously, if you don't have the flexibility, there's gonna be some movement backwards, but try not to be too dynamic if you're working to get a stronger L-sit. And then you can play with integrating it into other movements. So you go L-sit to shoulder stand or shoulder stand to L-sit, either straight legs or bent legs. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.